Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, I am very happy that I am here uh, with you. Um, uh, and I am very happy that you woke up today uh, and participate uh, in this meeting. Uh, because some people at this time, they are in hospital, in oncology, uh, maybe undergoing surgery. So we are happy that we uh, can uh, walk and we can hear and listen uh, some new things. Uh, thank you to the organizers for inviting me. Uh, it's very nice that you see how students help. Uh, students help is very important for you. Uh, today, I want to show you the role of health during uh, very uh, hard times. Uh, here you have code. You can scan this code and you can uh, ask me if you, have some, uh, if you will have some questions. Uh, you can scan this code. And at the end will be a code for presentation. You can download the presentation so you can listen now. Uh, uh, do you want code more? Okay. Imagine the situation. One day, uh, you will feel bad, and uh, you decide uh, to go to the doctor. Doc after examining you, doctor told, maybe you have multiple sclerosis. What is it? It's a chronic disease of the nervous system. Uh, can be can uh, lead to disability. Uh, we don't have treatment for this disease, and this disease is very characteristic for young people, M maybe older than you, but about uh, 20, 30 years old. And uh, when you hear this uh, diagnosis, your life, your world is stopped because everything changed. Nothing is important at this moment. Only important uh, is your health, and it won't be later. Uh, this uh, case shows us ca how um, health crisis can start. And now it's time to understand some things before it's late. Every week I see uh, a lot of patients who are ill. And uh, I want to share with you my experience and knowledge. Uh, and maybe this information informations can uh, change your life for better, your health for better. Uh, today I will teach you about how diseases start and how health uh, can change our life. So uh, let's talk about crisis. What is a crisis and what kind of uh, symptoms uh, uh, can we have? Uh, everyone, uh, has, uh, have, uh, everyone has different uh, symptoms because we are different. We have different uh, knowledge and different experience. Um, from medical point of view, uh, identity crisis makes uh, us uh, some psychological symptom, symptoms like uh, we can feel lost, worried, sad, angry, and helpless. But after a few months and a few uh, years, uh, we can have uh, physical symptoms. Uh, what, what kind of symptoms? We can have depression, we can have uh, problems with concentration, we can have uh, diarrhea or pain. Uh, so we can have different uh, symptomatical uh, problems. Uh, we can have always problem with skin. Uh, why? Because skin is a mirror of our health. Uh, so if you have any problems, uh, problem with skin, but chronic problem, uh, you always need to think about your health because this is the mirror. Of course, if you, are, if you are young, when you are young, you can have acne, but uh, if acne is very um, dangerous and, uh, and uh, you can't treat this acne, probably something is uh, inside. Before I continue, I have a question to you. Uh, 
we know our body is made of uh, cells. But which kind of cells are the most sensitive and, uh, and they react very quickly uh, to danger? What do you think? Okay, I answer. <laughs> uh, neurons. Uh, they uh, create a nervous system. We have a lot of neuron, neurons in our brain, but uh, the nervous system uh, is in our body everywhere. Uh, so they react very fast. For uh, light, uh, we can touch, when we can feel, we can taste. So nervous system is very important and very sensitive. Uh, without oxygen, uh, these uh, neurons can uh, alive for five minutes, six minutes, and die. And cells of immune uh, system, there are a lot <coughs> different, but they create one system, uh, our immunity. They are very sensitive too. And these cells, they talk each other. Uh, they are as uh, like a friends, uh, but sometimes they fighting. And uh, um, when immune cells are irritated, uh, they can uh, irritate uh, nervous uh, new, uh, neurons, and we have symptoms. So they want to do very well for us, but uh, but sometimes uh, they need uh, doctor. Uh, they need doctor because uh, uh, doctor um, um, suppress them because sometimes they are very active, so we don't like it. Next question. Uh, what do you think? Where do we have uh, the most immune cells in our body? Uh, in a lot of course, yes, yes, but... Uh, at the borders. This is the board. Uh, uh, this is the borders borders of uh, with environment. So, so our skin is a border, our eyes, border, ears, nose, mouth, larynx, lungs, and urinary system. But uh, the significant number of these uh, cells are here in our gut. Uh, about 80%. Uh, 80%. So this is why, because gut, gut is the main door for toxins, because we eat and drink every day. So uh, we uh, give our uh, body a lot of toxins. It's the vendor of the food and person, of course. And now, you know that these cells cooperate each other. We have axis, brain, immune, and gut. And this is very important axis because this is brain, uh, Im immune, and gut. And this is the gut bacteria, microbiome, very important. And uh, this axis is very important because if, when you have problem with your gut, very often you have problem with your uh, psychology problems. You can't sleep, you're irritated. So, uh, but if you have psycholo psychology problem, uh, for longer time, you will have always problem with your immune system and with your gut. So they cooperate, it's very important. So what's, are the factors uh, which triggers and damage our cells? Chronic stress, the worst. We don't like it. Uh, poor nutrition. When people are, have obesity, they have uh, poor nutrition too because they eat not good quality food. And when we do the blood test, we see that uh, the level of vitamins and minerals is, is not enough. Uh, reduced blood flow to cells. 
Why? Because cells need uh, need uh, oxygen and uh, nutrition. So uh, by blood they have this. Toxins. We have a lot of toxins around us, uh, especially with food. And uh, what kind of toxins? Smoking, nicotine, alcohol, drugs, heavy metals, and sugar. Why sugar? Because sugar can destroy our uh, uh, cell cells receptor receptors. Uh, this is very important because uh, cells. Uh, die because of this. And uh, when we have uh, a high level of uh, sugar in blood, uh, we can uh, have uh, insulin resistance. And this is first step to a lot of chronic diseases. Pathogens. We know about COVID, but we have a lot of bacteria, viruses, other viruses, um, parasites or fungi. Fungi is really dangerous, but nobody knows uh, about fungi inside our uh, uh, body. Uh, so we have mm, two very bad viruses, uh, cytomegalovirus and Epstein-Barr virus, and uh, these viruses can give uh, us uh, uh, cancers too. Uh, physical injuries. Uh, when our uh, tissue are destroyed, our immune system doesn't, don't, doesn't know about uh, uh, these uh, cells and uh, they create autoimmunity diseases. And uh, genetic predisposition, this is a small factor, but everybody like, uh, likes the, this genetic predisposition, but uh, it's only a few percent. So we can't change our genes but we can change this. So when these bad factors destroy our cells, we have a lot of symptoms. When our neurons are destroyed, in the beginning, the function of neurons doesn't work. Uh, don't work. So uh, we have problem with uh, sleeping problems, uh, uh, we can be angry, we can be tired, we can have depression. So a lot of people uh, bring, uh, take uh, pills, but maybe they have some uh, problem with uh, these factors. And after 30, 40 years, we have neurodegeneration, uh, like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. So uh, if uh, when we have some uh, functional problem, uh, problems is good to uh, go to a neurologist and, and, and talk about this, about it. And uh, when uh, our immune cells are destroyed, we have a lot of times of flu, more often, um, we have skin, hair, nails problem. So this is immune system. Uh, when the immune system is irritated uh, a lot of years, we have chronic uh, inflammation. And because of this, we can have autoimmune diseases uh, like Hashimoto, rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, allergy, allergies, different allergies, and at the end, cancer. So, but these symptoms, this, this, uh, there are uh, symptoms uh, from immune system. It's not important uh, the name of the symptoms. It's important uh, what doesn't work uh, in our body. When we are sick, our body is very wise because our brain wants to stay at home. So if you feel, when you feel bad, it's good to stay at home. Why? Because brain gives other cells time to regeneration. So it's, it's good to stay at home two, three, or one week and regenerate. And uh, imagine when you are sick, you have chronic disease, and at the same time you have additional problem. For example, uh, problem with relationships, uh, problem uh, in your family, uh, you change your country or flat. Mm, you, can, you have many crises at the same time. So you need uh, help from other people uh, because this is very uh, dangerous. 
That's why staying healthy is very good is, and calm is very important. Uh, why? Because when we have problem, we can pass these problems very easy. Because our brain, our neurons works very well. Uh, our cells can help us, but before we need help ourselves. So, the, and uh, these cells will produce energy and uh, regeneration will be better. Uh, imagine that your health is uh, as fuel uh, of life. You can do everything if you have fuel, but uh, fuel, this is nutrition and other things. So what we can do uh, to improve our life, our health, is any solution. I, I, I want to share uh, with you my uh, simple recipe for this. Uh, maybe uh, this information transform your life for better. So, protect your brain. Meet with very nice people. Uh, meditation. Exercise your n vagus nerve. Um, you can read books. Uh, don't use uh, a lot of uh, phones and internet because in your school, I am sure you, you, stay, you uh, use a lot of uh, computers uh, and this is not good. Uh, imagine we have natural environment and it's good to go out and uh, be with uh, nature. Toxins. So I told nicotine, alcohol, sugar, drugs, they destroyed. Remember that uh, good quality food is the most important uh, thing in our life because we need proteins, minerals, vitamins, fats, carbohydrates, but carbohydrates from vegetables, not from sweets. Uh, promote circulation. Because circulation, this is life. Circulation gives uh, our cells oxygen and uh, nutrition. Uh, people who stay at home, they always, they, they will be, uh, uh, I'm sure, uh, they will have a lot of diseases. Uh, don't afraid to ask for help. Uh, because sometimes we have a lot of problems and it's good to go to our friends and talk about this, or it's good to find a good uh, special, a specialist, for example, doctors, dietitian, or psychologist. Uh, and remember that it's important to do a laboratory test because in laboratory test, in blood test, we can see few years before some problems and you don't feel uh, it now. So this is uh, for you, I prepared uh, what is uh, the very healthy uh, food. And, uh, if you will eat this kind of food, you would never have uh, diseases, I am sure. Uh, but it is very easy, of course, especially uh, my favorite is chicory. Chicory is very good food for our uh, gut bacteria, uh, pickles. So it's amazing. This is really, and water. Remember, uh, remember about water. Water is important. Without water, we can't uh, alive. And this is my last uh, uh, new case. I, I love it. I love it. Uh, I discovered this uh, a few months ago. Uh, uh, black cumin oil. Uh, when you go to PubMed. And you see a lot of researches about black cumin oil. It works for all organs in our body. It's amazing. Uh, 10 milliliters one a day. You can use a little uh, with uh, honey. And, uh, you see, you need to go to PubMed because we have 3,700 uh, articles about this. Who knows about it? Nobody. So this is for you for today. So, uh, so uh, now you know that prevention is very important. And what you do today will have impact in five, ten years. Uh, so this is your decision. Uh, good decision gives uh, improvement. A bad decision we will pay a lot of uh, later. Uh, so remember that we are own best, our own best doctors. So the, 
we can help uh, ourselves. Uh, when you will be calm and you will eat really good quality food, you will be happy and your health will be better and you will not have a lot of problems, psychological problems. So thank you for your attention. And uh, uh, thank you. <laughs>